It's family because that was growing up as a kid. That's all I dreamt about. Thanks for coming to um, football shirts, classic football shirts. We're in Dublin in for a week. Thanks, yeah. thanks to you guys for coming down. I'm just going to have a chat with John about his career and the shirts that mean the most to him. Got your shirt, John. You remember this? Well, I'd like to not remember this because this is obviously people don't mention that the goal I scored in that game, which was a massive, massive goal. Yeah, I've got to do classics. You always talk about beauty. Well, I mean, with good reason. Maybe maybe so. It was effort and effort, and don't want to sort of like that. It was hot though, wasn't it? It was hot. Yeah. We had ten men on the pitch, we two them down, and I lost the lost the pot. But you know what? The shirts go. I think that's absolutely yeah. It's just so so different at the time. I was into my shirts, and there was a shop in a place, a little place in called called Garst, and there was a shop that sold. Replica shirts, not like this. No, the, the only the one that I really like. Every Liverpool one I got. West Ham. Yeah. West Ham brought the first one out, which had two like purple hoops around there, and it was like I got that. So, so that was other than when they put out a wall like West Ham. I like. Do you think you used to be Jeff first? Um, no, I don't know what it was. It's just the shirt. Yeah. It wasn't Jeff first? It was just the shirt. You know, and then, then the Crystal Palace one come in, which went that way. Sash. Sash. Yeah. Yes, that way was really like, it was just something different at the time. And so I was well into my shares when I was a kid. And did you think you could grow up and be a professional footballer? I hope. Yeah. And I prayed and that was all the, the ambition. I was playing for the club. Yeah. And then, you know, to play for Al was like a blessing. Um, yeah. Yeah. You know, so so yeah, just uh, played that well for me. Starting out at uh, Newport County, right? You played the Cup Winners' Cup quarterfinals, right? Carl Zeiss, Jayla. Uh, any stories from, from when you were there in Wales? Well, yeah, we, do you know what? It was great times because I they only give you a one year contract. I was a tool maker by trade. Yeah. And um, I took less money. I'm making cars for British Label to, to, to go and play and give myself a chance to be a professional footballer because that's all I wanted to do. And you know, and the gamble paid off. Um, we, we won the, well, we promote, got promoted from the fourth division and won the Welsh Cup, which was big at the time. Yeah. It took us into the European Cup, which was up, you know, hence Carl Zeiss here in there. Um, I think what you said. It's a great time. I love the reports I've raised and the fans were great with me and yeah, it's a great start. What about then sign for Oxford United and again part of that so many promotions, got to the you know, won the league cup, part of like a real historic time for Oxford United. What was it like you know, being there? When we see when I left Newport, Oxford were on the verge of going up from the the, the second so I jumped on the bandwagon a little bit, uh, and we went up. Uh, then we went up from the second to the first, which is the pen now. Uh, double promotion back to back, fantastic, it's great yeah. And then we won the Milk Cup, which is now is the Carabao Cup. Uh, Playing at Wembley for the first time. Well, that, was, that was always big. Yeah. Grown up as a kid, even now. We want to play Wembley, don't we? Yeah. It was iconic when I was a kid to play at Wembley. You know the old Wembley. And I dreamt of it when I was a kid. So I don't play for Liverpool. I want to play a Wembley for Liverpool. Of course, in the first one, of course. <laughs> Rock to do it again, as opposed to the yeah. And um, and we were under dogs. They had Queen's Park Rangers, who supposedly won a Blackers, and we beat them 3 0. Yeah. Fortunately, didn't score. I missed the sit in. But we won the cup. So, uh, happy days. Great club. You remember the show with the Wang? Yeah, Wang, yeah, yeah, yeah. You wouldn't get away with that this time. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah, we called the Wangers. 
Um, do you remember you scored Alex Ferguson's first match as Man United manager? You scored Oxford beat United. I scored the first goal actually um, against Alex Ferguson, which I'm very proud of. Yeah. You know, and I really enjoyed the joke. Uh, for me, it was a joke, but I'm not a big Man United fan, but I did enjoy it. You know, yeah. was it? Obviously, being, I was still a liberal fan. Yeah, that's how we, f we finished the game, whether for Newport or Oxford. Straight from Ray, they obviously all the book around. And to um, score the first goal against Alex Ferguson, who is iconic. That's amazing. It was, was special for me, and we won the game 2 0, which was great. And then you signed for your, your boy old team, Liverpool. What was that like then to, to finally get? This is your, like the first shirt you would have worn there. Well, it was weird to fail me because that was growing up as a kid. That's all I dreamt about. You know, wearing number eight on my back. Roger Hunt's number nine. Roger Hunt was my hero, and uh, and I got to do it. Yeah. So that was that was very special. And first year we won the league, I got the golden boot again, which was, which was lovely. Um, you know, I'm playing in a special team. We like John Barnes, who is the best player that I've played. Like, he's just amazing. He's been to the behind us. Ray Howell, yeah, that was You didn't feel any pressure taking over from Ian Rush? No, 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 I didn't. I, no, I always had pressure on myself because he expected to score every game. Um, you know, that's the way it was. Um, I knew I was scoring goals at a big rate with Oxford in the, in the top, top division where Liverpool was. Going into Liverpool with, with the players around me, that we had world class players, I knew we'd get more chances. So he always knew, because I, I knew the ability in the box was, was there. It was goal scored by Natural Infant. Yeah. I, I knew that, you know, I, I'd, I'd get a chance to score goals. So, no, not a problem. The only, the only pressure was to, to make sure Liverpool were, were, were great again, because we, 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 for a couple of years we weren't good. And then, you know, win the league, which we did. She won the FA Cup, the small was the bounty. And and so, you know, you don't breeze over it. No, I don't look at that. <laughs> <laughs> so, memories of that. No keeper had ever saved the penalty in a, in a FA Cup final with <laughs> Dave Besson. Um, you know what, that day, what did you just throw your kit in a bin afterwards? Uh, no, I've still got it. <laughs> did, you, did you keep many shirts from your career I've then? Kept, I've kept them all. Yeah? Yeah, I've kept them all, yeah. All, all the ones, even though it was a swap, you know, that I've kept, you know, because it's, 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 you know, it's close to your heart. Yeah. No, uh, we didn't swap shirts. And, to be fair, to put them up, I know, I know most of the lads and the great set of lads. You know, Dave Besson's, you know, speaks to Davey and now. You know, just the way it went, the credit where it's we just had a massive off day and they capitalised. Yeah. Yeah. So, great time at Anfield and then Real Sociedad, how did, how did that come about? That's, um, yeah, that was just, I scored 63 goals in 104 games for the club, which I thought was enough to hit me at the club and he decided to sell me for whatever reason. Uh, and I went to this great club, great club. Uh, first man bass player. Yeah, for a long time. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, so that was that was more. That's what it's all about. Pressure. I'm not joining the probably more pressure joining the social that for me. You know, because of the politics. Yeah, yeah. And what was it like fitting in with the culture over there? Great. You know, at first the people it was seventy five percent of people didn't want me there. Of the fans, but then forced me for one and more. 40 goals in 75 games. Yes. I mean, who's the toughest opponent would you say you played against over there? In, in Spain? Yeah. No, no, no. Nobody? Because no, I mean, I was going to say, well, I, I thought you playing at the New Camp would be tough, but you scored two goals <laughs> twice at the New Camp, beating yeah. beat, beat yeah. 3 1. Yeah. You know, I think we. You always get favourite teams. Yeah. Barcelona, like. The first game there was 2 2, I scored 2. Yeah. The second game was in the cup, which was 3 3, I scored 2. The last game, they yeah. just won the league. And he went there, clapped them on the pitch, and beat them 3 1. David Nackerson was fantastic that day, but I got two, two goals. And um, it's been my favourite ground that I've ever played. Now. So, I'm going to cut, go to your international career. Yeah. Right. You, you and Ray Allen got recruited to play for Allen. Jack Charlton's yeah. first game. How did that? Come about. No, Jack here. Jack here. I always knew that I was, I was qualified to play for Ireland. Um, Jack came to me and Ray, 
play basically a long, long story short against Villa in the semi finals of the Milk Cup. And we got it all right, and Jack took us on. Your right, yeah. What's your, you know, what does this shirt mean to your memories of, of that tournament? Um, we, do you know what? The, 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 the best feeling of a game that I played for Ireland was, was against the first game of Euro 88. When we introduced ourselves to the world, people didn't really know what we were all about. We qualified and we played in the first game and we won one down the Stuttgart. England played really well and Limerick had missed some really cheap, big chances. We, we, we scored, we held on to we won 1 0. Everyone knew then, we, you know, this Ireland team was going on mugs. Um, we, we were only about six or seven minutes away from qualifying for the semi finals. Yeah. They had a really good team. How good was the, the Holland team? You know, the... Well, they, they, they beat us, the, the, the Dutch team. Beat England 3 1. Um, and, and then we, we ended up playing them in the last game. Uh, and we were only. It was a free goal they scored. You'd have to see it on the internet. A free goal that they scored uh, to get them through. But you're, you're talking about a class team, human. Um, like uh pull it, right card, pull it, oh wow, you know, there's so many good players. But, um, I'm basting them playing our game, we've seen to the but they do a quality team and it's sort of a quality team to pieces. That, that game against uh, Romania, penalty shootout, you know, <coughs> would you have took a penalty if you were on the pitch? Yeah, yeah, I would have done. I should have got sent off in that game, I, I knew before half time. I, I got this muscle problem and I knew I couldn't play the second half because it's like a lazy muscle. So I thought, well, I'll take Hadji out. I'll take him off before half time. So we come by the dugout, and you have to see yourself, and I'm asking to smash him. I just wildly kicked him. It's a red card all day. Yeah. I want to think that'll get a red card. Maybe in them days he had to do something. Mad thing not to get a red card, but come and have a look at this, very interesting. Yeah. That's one thing I remember, and obviously the penalty we got through, yeah, it was a mega day, mega night. Yeah. Yeah. And the Italy game, you know, we're talking about swaps from the World Cup. Did you get a Baggio shirt from that game? Um, the Italy game, uh, do you know what? I forgot the shirt. <laughs> I've got a few Italian shirts, got the Ali, which is the most, one of the most prestigious shirts, because yeah. I've number one player in the world in 1992. Uh, great player, nice fella as well. Um, around Conte. Yeah, but you know what, I can't remember which shirt's got that on that day, I can't remember. I mean, you, you played them again in 1994, um, ran out and the memories, yeah. of, memories of beating them in the USA. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that was one of the great shocks of the World Cup. Cool. It was. Players. Unfortunately, I was on the bench, you know, I come on very late in the game. So I'll see the game out, but uh, the lads were brilliant. Best centre half performance I've ever seen in my life by Paul McGraw that day. Yeah. Baggio, Jack called him Baggio. <laughs> he, he couldn't. Yeah. Big four had him in his pocket. Yeah. He was fantastic. Yeah. And what about like any, any stories from that tournament? You know, what was it? What was it like playing with with this guy? Roy Keane, he like, it was great. He was a pure athlete. Good lad. He was very young in them days. Obviously, a little bit of naivety. You know, which you'd expect. But me, me and Roy got on really, really well, you know, and uh, yeah, as players have played with these rights up there, uh, different class. So, 69 caps, 19 goals, you know, great career for Ireland. What's the, what's your favourite memory from, from the international career? Uh, Being in England and stuck out on that, yeah. just because uh, we made some Liverpool like we had loads of bands at the time. A lot, a lot of them spawn Ireland, it was the scouts as well. You know, uh, because you know the Vince of Liverpool and Ireland, obviously. That was that was for me was was desperate to show the world how good our, our, our team was. And that was on a on a big stage. And we did it and, and you know, it's like it's a bit of like Liverpool against 
Everton at the time, you know, when big rivalry or Liverpool Man United now. Can't not talk about Tranmere, you know, move there, you know, so many like goals galore. Yeah. Great, you know, becoming an iconic all time legend really for the club. What, what was your best memory you know, playing at oh, Benton Park? God, I, I, I love, I love, I love, I love yeah. Tranmere always, 10 years there, a long time as a manager. You know, getting into a major club fan. There we go. 2000 Worthington Cup final. So many cup cool, cool drama, cup cool upsets. Cool. Um, yeah. that, that must lead in the team out Millennium Stadium. Yeah. It's, it's the last League Cup final at the old Wembley as well. And um, really good lads. Uh, you know, I really they're like family to me. Went through a big war for me. None other than that one with Dave Kelly in that yeah. lab. He was a really game. good friend of mine, I haven't spoken to him for a while now. But, uh, but that was because, you know, it was a small club ish. Um, it took 30,000 to win me. Um, we, we lost on the day 2 1, it was very close to Leicester. Um, two set plays on us. But, but getting there, with, you know, meant, it, meant an awful lot to the club. Do you not fancy yourself as a manager after this? No, no, no I've been out, I've been out of the game for a long, long time. Don't ever put your hat in the ring when Flop goes. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> I can't say that. <laughs> I was going to say. No, but no, I think um, them days have gone. Never been tempted back. No, no. I've had a few. No, no, I'm happy when I'm doing now. So. That's been great, that. So, that. all these shirts from your career, which one would you say was the favourite? Is there a favourite? No, I couldn't. It's impossible. They all, they're all so close to me, aren't they? I just couldn't pick one. I think in their own right, they're all brilliant. Um, except for that one. That one. <laughs> 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 no, no disrespect to Wimbledon, but that one. Um, but no, they're all, they're all fantastic shirts. Thanks a lot, John. Thanks a lot.